This is where my dream started, right here on the shores of Lake Okeechobee. As a kid growing up, fishing team tournaments and all the different tournaments around the lake, one day dreaming that I'd win a Bassmaster Elite right here in my backyard. I love this lake. It's ever-changing and it's always challenging. And this year's no different. We've got high water, muddy water, complicated things going on. But at the end of the day, it's the opportunity I've been waiting for and I'm ready to go. talking about Lake Okeechobee, dude. It's such a small area, dude, and, and that, so that, you tell me, but that southeast wind, south-southeast wind's been yeah. blowing right in there. In the rim canal? In the grassy. Oh. Rim canal? I'm I ain't like, going to catch nine pounds. <laughs> he I ain't caught, worried about nine pounds. I said. had 15, I had 15 bites in there the other day. I told you all that. Yeah. My biggest fish was like a two and a quarter pounder, two and a half pounder. Yeah, okay. Rest of them were like 12 I inches. I figured it was match two and a quarter, so they might be really two and a half. Well, I ain't going there, so they were real two and a quarter. You really told the truth. I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, guaranteed he's got 15 pounds all hemmed up in there. Yeah. Just gotta just keep keep your head down and fish, man. Florida. I mean, honestly, that's I mean, like I know that's such a cliche to say because you say it. We say it at every lake we go to. Just put your head down and fish. Like, there's a lot of lakes you don't put your head down and fish. You just you you have to keep your head on a swivel, and you have to bounce around here and bounce around over there. And, Make all these uh, adjustments and run over here, run over there. And this is this is put your head down and fish. This what is, I say yesterday. Put your head down, put your turn around, and don't even worry about it, and just keep fishing, and then boom, you get a bite. And then, My problem yeah. has always been, and I told McCoy this: when I come to Florida and come to Okeechobee, I try to mount, I try to fish multiple areas, yeah. and that's stupid. Like, yeah. I mean, somebody might can do it successfully, but no. Nah. In the history of this lake, like if you look at top ten finishes, and people that win, yeah, they win it out of one place. Yeah. One or two spots in a day is all you have. Day one of the Bassmaster Elite. The brand new season, 2023 season right here. Guys, I'm excited about it. We're right here at my house of all things. I mean, how cool is that? Tournaments at Okeechobee City, which is about a 45 minute drive, which every time we've had a tournament at Okeechobee, I just stay here obviously. And it's a nice little drive, 40 minute drive. Gives me a little bit of time to meditate and kind of figure out what's going on and make decisions. And, um, the lake, you know, the water's high this year. You've heard a lot of us talking about water levels. We've heard talking about muddy water, uh, loss of habitat, etc. And a lot of that is due, you know, the fishing's still good. It's just small areas that are producing. So it makes it tough for tournament fishing because you have so many boats in an area. So it's hard to find anything to yourself. So I'm sure I'm going to be around a lot of boats today. But at the end of the day, I'm just going to keep my head down and fish and uh, hopefully catch an over 20-pound bag today. Uh, practice was a little tough, so I encourage you guys to go check out the practice video. It's up on the channel now. Let's get it going, guys. Lake Okeechobee. She's been good to me before. I love this lake. We can catch a big old bag today. There's very few people more synonymous with Lake Okeechobee than the Martin family. And Scott Martin kicking off the season here and uh, your home playing field. Such a rare, great opportunity you have. Well, you know, I've, I've always got butterflies. Every tournament I ever fish, I'm nervous as a tick, but... You know, it's, it's all about your game plan. It's all about preparation. I do have extra pressure. You know, I want to perform for my family. I want to perform for the lake. But it's a good pressure. It's, it's one of those, it, it, keeps you, it keeps you going type pressure. So I've had a lot of good success here. I'm going to have to make good decisions on the water. That's how this lake fishes. It's just a matter of time, and you just got to keep sticking with it. Hey, guys. All right, y'all. Day one, 2023 elite season finally here. It's been kind of a long off season. I mean, it was great for me. I got to spend a lot of time with the family, did a little hunting, but uh, ready to get things cranking. And uh, what better state to start in than good old Florida, because there are giant bass that live here. 
Um, this lake has not been good to me throughout my career. Uh, hopefully that changes today. We're going to go out, put our nose in the grindstone, good. fish slow, milk our area, hopefully come up with 20 pounds. That's the goal. Man, it's uh, day one, Bassmaster Elite season 2023, and uh, man, we're on Lake Okeechobee. What couldn't be a better place to be. Fishing's been a little stingy this week, but uh, the weather's beautiful, and uh, we're gonna try to get out there and bust them. This place has got giants in it. Somebody's gonna catch a big bag. Hopefully we can land on an area that's got some of those big ones moving up and uh, get a few bites and land them. Because like I said, it's been a tough practice, but uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And hopefully gonna get a few of those big bites and put them in the boat. About half the tournaments I've fished over my career, or big tournaments have been right here at Okatani. The other half have been right there at our, our marina in Cluston. So we've had some special moments right here. Right here, I won my uh, first, well, not first in but I won the FLW event here. John Cox was leading the tournament, and there's a picture that he posted on Instagram this morning, and that's John Cox. Long, long, a lot of many years ago. I don't know, what, 15 years ago, something like that? But look at him. He's in a polo shirt, dude. I mean, that's OG status right there. John had an 11-pound lead, and this is the only time in my career that I actually won a tournament and kind of felt bad for the guy that I beat because I love John so much. He had an 11-pound lead going into the last day. I was in second, and I came back to win the event. Caught a big monster bag the last day, and I ended up getting the victory here. So, you know, here's my game plan. I've got two or three small little areas, and then I've got one big community hole area. I'm gonna try to get into some of those small areas first. Just try to catch some fish, see what happens. Um, and then from there, we'll move on down to the, to the group of fish where everybody's at and just mix it up. The reason I wanna try to maybe get a limit first is because I'm not sure how many I can catch in those areas with all the boats. I think I can catch some big ones in there, but I don't know if I can catch five in there. It might be challenging with all the pressure. So if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Also, share the video out to whoever and everyone that you can. Let people know about the video series and we want to get more people watching the videos. And just thank you. Thank you to all my sponsors for making this happen as well. And uh, this for you guys. Hacking the game, don't underestimate us. Still got the lions, they roaring inside. We claim our power, we're ready to fight. Showing our colors, we're coming alive. Coming alive. Well, we made a run down south. Just got in here a little bit ago. Hadn't caught one yet. Just taking my time. Put a little swim jig, just covering a little water. Right now, trying to take advantage of maybe a early bite. No boats in here yet, which is, which is good. Hopefully that'll be the case. Not the, <laughs> not the size that I was hoping my first hook set would be on a Kachobi. I don't think he's even a keeper. Even if he is, I think I'm going to throw him back anyways. No. There's one that lives on that stick, and he's not, he didn't bite yet. No, he, there's one on that stick. 
I'll change positions on this. I think this one over here is a big one. I don't want to catch him and have to drag him over that hard cover right there. I'd rather be out here if I'm going to fight him. I'm fighting that, you know, this way. You get a big fish on it. wraps you up in that tree right there, dude. That thing's pretty, pretty brutal. Sometimes they just want stuff like this. Take a minute to get it, get them going. I think we're gonna catch a bag. Yeah, that was bag. cool. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my god, it's a freaking five pounder, dude. Big old nasty. Dude, I saw the fish come up. I took my pan optics over there and I watched the fish come off the bottom to that thing. That's why I got down. And then I could see it still sitting there. And I pitched to it and it bit. Get ready. Real big one. Coming to the back. Coming to the back. Oh my God, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. That's what we're talking about. Lake Okeechobee, dude. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Lord. That's for you, darling. My wife's been praying. Tell me just to settle down. I've grown up on this lake. Let me just fish comfortable. Fish like I want to fish. And that's what happens. There we go, babe. Right there. All right. There's an opportunity. I'm seeing an opportunity. Dude, what what just happened? That was insane. I hadn't caught one on this thing all week. The secret to this bait, water temperature. In practice, we had cool mornings. They won't bite this in cool mornings. You get a warm night like we have now. They get frisky.
There he is. I didn't move the boat. Caught three right here. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot. There's definitely a major spawn happening in here. I've seen that fish on the graph. I mean, that's where I missed that one. And that's probably the male. There he is. Oh, that's another good one. Oh my gosh, dude. What the fuck is you doing? Bro, what the heck, man? Why are you doing me like that? Dang. What in the world? There he is. There he is again. That big one's still there somewhere. Okay, put this back in my hand for a minute and this. Let's go do some work with this top water. That's a good looking spot, dude. Oh. I don't know if he's gonna help me. The thing is like, so as I catch these males, I don't really want to see he's peeing. I really don't want to keep them. I want them to be a magnet to bring the females in, to be honest with you. But being that this, this spot's so small, as I call out any of these fish, guaranteed, I mean, it's just, he's just going to swim right over there. He's just like I threw him, threw him back, you know? He's definitely smaller. Yeah. Yeah. I caught that one right over there. So he'll go back and yep. need the magnet. We need a magnet. Another big one, dude. Boys, boys, we will not be leaving the premises for a minute. <laughs> boys and girls, boys and girls. This one's for Amelia. Amelia's at school right now. I caught one for Suzanne. This one's for Amelia. I gotta catch one for Hillary. I've got to catch one for Reed, and I got to catch one for Jacob. That's a good one right there, boys. Yeah, That's a call. All right, I'll put this on the big side. I did.
14 ouncer. How about that? Tried to take it away from me. Fry garter, I saw him. I don't think he'll help, will he? Oh, that's a big one. Oh, get out of the bushes. Get out of the bushes. Another giant, bro. Gracious. I'm digging. Coming to the back. Come here, dude. Not the prettiest landing job, but it doesn't matter. I got another one. I got another one. We got four days. Just gotta keep rolling with it. What a what a strike, dude. <laughs> when the stars line up and they, they start biting this, you better not put it down. Okay, there's the my, my two. We got that one. And we got that one. And we got that one that goes in there. Yep. Okay. Swim right back over there and bring me a big girl, dude. Ah. It's a big one. Oh my gosh. Another good one. Ah, he's not thought he's bigger. It's a good one, but he's not gonna not gonna help me. See what's great about great about this spot is we're not catching 12 inches. You're catching good quality lake fish like that. When you're catching good quality lake fish, then big giant mamas snuggle up in here with them dude that thing hit me and went in the tree dude it was in the tree and i'm like oh my gosh you know like usually when that happens a lot of times you know rip they rip off I mean, I'd like to catch him on a frog in here, but dude, I'm, I mean, oh my God, another giant. Oh my God, that was a, that was a six pounder, I saw him. I saw him, dude, six or seven pounder. He didn't get it.
Dude, they're hitting it weird, man. They're like hitting it and just running. It was a six pounder. Saw the whole thing. Did he get enough? The majority of your fish have been with that thing. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Giant one. Bro, <laughs> bro, Zona, are we live? Are we live again? Woo, boys. Dude, give me some. Bro. <laughs> That's a beautiful bass. That's a lake bass right there. Old bandito bug. She catches biggins too. Oh my gosh. Really big and dude. Holy cow. Yes. Come here, dude. Real big and. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. That looked like Larry Nixon deal. Oh my gosh. Stop it, dude. Bro, please. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're so strong, bro. I need a net. I need a net, bro. I need a net. I don't need a net! Woo! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Zona. I don't need a net, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoo! Man. That. Poof, that's where I lost a fish earlier. I lost that fish earlier. I don't think I'd lose that one. That was a little magnet. Oh my gosh. Look at the thing as long as my leg, bro. Hillary, that one's for you, darling. That's a Hillary bass right there. Whoo! Oh my gosh. What a fight, dude. What a fight. Thank you, Lord. The Lord's blessed me a bunch, man. That's, uh, I mean, I'm not perfect by any means, but I tell you what, he's blessing me, so thank you. I know it's a lot of people praying. My wife's been diligent, my family. Just gotta keep it going. We've got potential. <clears throat> my mom's been going through some stuff. <clears throat> And she's my biggest fan. Ugh. I just want to catch a big one for her. All right. Whew. Love you, mama. Oh, that's a good one. That's a big one. That's a pretty big one, I think. I don't know how big yet. I hadn't seen him yet. Yeah, he's helpful, maybe. Maybe a four. He's mad, dude. He didn't even know he's hooked until just now. Nice. I don't know if that helps or not, man. It's a good fish, though. Yeah. smaller. 
that one's smaller. It's crazy, but it's smaller. Okay. Made it back in. I tell you, the peace of mind that I've had the last couple years running the Yamaha with the Skeeter has been awesome. The boats have been amazing. The engines are amazing. The peace of mind is important. So we made it in. We got about five minutes to spare. You know what? We had a good day. Let's just go ahead and get it on the bank. Get these fish weighed in and uh, regroup for tomorrow. Oh. Jump up here, come on. Don't open that live wheel up now. Don't not yet. That's a big, big, big surprise, though. Everybody's been following you. They got you on all sorts of YouTube really? stuff. Really? Yeah, they get really. Oh my god, you got 26 pounds. I don't know. I lost it seven and two sixes. Think you get them tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe. I think they're in there. Yeah. When did you, when did you get them early? Up until about noon. Yeah. It's supposed to be kind of cloudy and not too windy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be good. Bit. But then Saturday's supposed to be windy. Sunday's really good. Yeah, yeah. Sunday's real calm. Sunday's real cloudy. Really good. So see, if you can make it through the Sunday deal, then you'll get you'll really. Uh -huh. I don't know how many are left in there. You know, it's, it's just day one though, so good way to start the season, but we got three more, hopefully three more days. But Steve's got a big bag, Holden's got a good bag. I just heard of a 22 pound bag, so they're catching them. I think some of the later fights will be catching a little better. Houston, Florida, he is a generational angling icon. Get loud for Scott Martin. Scott Martin. I, I forgot something behind here real quick. Hang on, let me let me get that real quick. Hang on. What, he's got a... What, what are you getting? You ain't, they're going to weigh your... Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Roland Martin! 25 pounds, 11 ounces! 25, 11, and a brand new leader here at the Site 1, the Bassmaster Elite. He's your leader. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Before we talk to Scott Roland, how cool is that? Is that? You know what's so cool is that we've been on the lake for 30 or 40 years, and right now with the water levels like they are, there's things happening that happened 30 years ago, and that's kind of what he's capitalizing on. He's he's looking back. Don't at, you give any secrets no, away? No, no, no. But he but he's doing something that nobody else is doing. But isn't that his whole career? This hadn't happened. This particular deal hadn't happened lately. So. It's kind of, isn't that like kind of his whole career? Like he's capitalizing on something that happened 30 years ago, if you know what I'm talking about? He's doing good. <laughs> he's doing very good. Scott, I kind of said it to you this morning. We talked about it on Bass Live. I said, nobody has pressure in this tournament. It's day one, first event of the season, except for one dude, Scott Martin. This is a unique opportunity. And I know we're only one day in, but watching you on live, man, it looked like he is capitalizing in a big, big way. Well, it sure was a blessing. You know, I I, I, uh, I prepared this week. I didn't find a whole lot. You know, a couple of things gave me some clues on what might happen, and I, I kind of went with my gut this morning, and it paid off big time. So, you know, we've got three more days, hopefully three more days of good fishing out here. I'm going to have to make adjustments throughout the whole week, but I tell you what, my Lord and Savior blessed me a ton today, and I, I couldn't do it without him. So, so it was a great day. So, an Incredible day, an incredible moment, and we're just one day in. I want to say a huge thank you to my wife and my daughter Amelia for being here. They're right there. Hillary's at a softball match. Jacob and Reed are out of town right now. And my mom's at home watching. Love you, Mom. Great family. That's here for Roland Martin and Scott Martin, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, where's Amelia? So Amelia is getting a drink right now. Oh, yeah? She's thirsty. She said it's so hot. It is hot. And she had a good day. Did. We did lots of praying. Oh, I know. Lots of praying. 
Yeah. It was, a good, it was fun. It yeah. felt good, you know, to start the year off on a good on a good foot like that. Yeah. I had fun. That was my biggest bag in a. I think that's my biggest bag in a either an FLW or a Bassmaster. In a long time. I think it's my biggest ever. I think Might be 28. 20, 28 one time. Bob Fisher, Scott Canterbury here today. 16 pounds, 12 ounces. Dixieland. 16 pounds, 12 ounces. Your house is doing good. Scott leading the tournament. We saw on live today a little politicking going on in the same area. Did it uh, work out good? or It didn't work out for me, I don't guess. I was a little late getting to the party, but uh, he did good. I mean, you know, uh, that's awesome, man. He knows this lake really good. I think uh, he's, got, he's probably got some stuff that he hasn't touched. I mean, there's no telling, but... I'll be pulling for him this week, but I'm going to try to catch me another 16. Well, I'm going to try to catch 26 and swap places with him. That's what I want to do. But I think the whole house may be doing good. I think Matt may have something. I don't know. I hadn't seen him yet. From Shelby, North Carolina, two-time FLW Tour winner Matt Airy. Matt Airy with five fish here today. 16 pounds and 12 ounces. Puts him in 22nd place currently. Life's pretty good. Yeah, no complaints. Florida is uh, is always tough on me. And Okeechobee, I've, I've been here five times. I've cashed one check on this lake. So it has not been very nice. But I heard you say Canterbury, Martin, and Airy all, all had a good day. Yeah. It's always a good day when the house does well. So everybody will be in a good mood tonight. We can... I, I'm not sure about that. You're not, who's, not, who's not in a good mood? Well, I mean, they were in the same area, and it was on live. And it... Scott, oh, let's just let you translate. Scott kept saying, why don't you try this spot? And that spot, and giving them like, oh, go try that spot. Was that Scott's way of like saying, I got a camera boat and I can't tell you to get out of here, but I'm kind of telling you to get out of here? You just gave me even better news. I'm gonna get the boxing gloves out and the popcorn. We're gonna really have fun tonight. Oh, I can't wait to stream it live on Instagram. I look forward to watching it. All right, boys. <laughs> How about that? 25.11. You know, we weren't sure what they weighed. You know, I didn't weigh a single fish today other than a couple of small ones when I was calling, but. That was a special day for sure. A lot of fun, I tell you. Anytime you can catch fish on a top water like that, I mean, that's that doesn't happen every day. So hopefully the conditions tomorrow will lend itself to some big bites, and uh, I can squeak out another pretty good bag in that area there. But I, you know, I'll, hopefully it'd be nice to win the tournament in there. I mean, that would be the ultimate goal. There's a small chance that could happen. We'll have to find out tomorrow. So we're gonna go to the tackle shop, get a few things, and. Uh, Go get geared up for dinner and get some get some sleep. But I feel good. You know, I started this diet process back in October, and I wanted to be in the best shape of my life starting the 2023 season. And when I made my first cast today, I accomplished that goal. And my energy level is good. My focus is good. And my body feels good. So we're gonna have a good week. Mosquitoes are swarming. I've never seen mosquitoes this bad. They're swarming everywhere. Hey, buddy! Oh my goodness! What's up, dude? What's up, man? Mm. Mm. Daddy caught him today. Mm -hmm. What you been doing? Did you watch me on TV today? Did you watch me on TV today? Huh? Are those corn? Those it don't corn, really right? matter. That's yours right there, right? Yeah, that's yours. Yeah, that's yours. Suzanne's. This is this is so. If you come to Cloyston, um there's obviously a couple places to eat in town. Not many choices here, but the marina is amazing. But if you want authentic uh, tacos, street tacos, it's called jalapenos. And it's right in the middle of town. Can't miss it. There's always a line of people. It's always busy. And they uh, they do a jam up job on tacos. So to clarify, who's leading out of y'all two? Todd. We're Todd. Well, I'm leading because I had big fish. Nice. So I finished higher in the AOI last year, yeah. so I'm leading. So how's that work? Be. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know the tiebreaker. <laughs> last year's tiebreaker is last year's classic. <laughs> no, they had 60 out, 16, 11. So what place is that? 25th, 20th? Oh, way down low. We'll, we'll let Hollywood enjoy his time in the spotlight while yeah. he's at home. Yeah. Don't worry about it there, Hollywood. We shook off a couple sixes today, so you'd be, <laughs> so you'd feel better about yourself. <laughs> Shark bite. What it is? Well, I'll understand. Drink it and you will. Drink it. You don't have to breathe. Or like it comes out better. Yeah. Hundred percent better. What you poke a hole the top? Yeah, it's a shark bite too. You shark bite me. 
Camber just changed what did my you life. Poke a damn hole. <laughs> shark bite. Let me Look, see. see shark bite on the back of the can. When did you learn to do that? A little hot tip bite. for all you beer drinkers out there, or coke drinkers. It's a tool called shark bite. I got that for Christmas. I thought it was just like a dang can opener. I'm like, no. it's like an open mode. Look, look at Baylor. <laughs> <laughs> Baylor, you want a jalapeno? Oh my gosh, what's up, dude? He has manners at least. He does have manners. He does. He doesn't mm -hmm. like Great. climb on the table. Uh -huh. He just sits there. We didn't teach him <laughs> to do that either. <laughs> Taylor. Eat. Has anybody ever seen a dog sit at a table? Go around and show the side. He's sitting on his butt, dude. Look. Look sit. on the side. He's look. like a little human. No, but look, Matt, look. Have you seen it? Look at his butt. He's yeah. sitting on it like a person with his feet sticking straight out. Don't zoom in too much. All rigged up. You know, tomorrow, hopefully I'll have that spot to myself again. And I think we can get some bites in there. It might even get better. I mean, you never know. You really do. You really never know, to be honest with you. It could get better. But the weather is going to be nice tomorrow. That's the main thing. And then on Saturday, we've got a lot of wind. That's going to be a little challenging to be... But that being said, it might get really good with the wind blowing if I have to move to a different area. And then I've got my one spot where I caught that real big one in practice. That I'm hoping I can roll in there tomorrow at some point and catch a couple pigs. That's it. I mean, you know, three more, three more days hopefully. Day two is tomorrow. We're going to continue this video. And uh, see if we can make the cut, guys. Let's see if we, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can't pull off something special here, right here in my backyard. So I'm gonna go to bed, get some sleep, get a shower. It's uh, I'm always the last one in bed. It's almost 11 o'clock, and I'm still tinkering. So good night. All right. It's definitely hotter than it was yesterday morning. Yesterday morning, it still had some little chill to it. So I think they'll bite good. You know, it's going to be pretty calm today. So I think, I think, all in all, a lot of people are going to catch fish today. A little, probably even a little better than yesterday. Especially some of the guys like I got to worry about Bernie because what, what he's doing is a is a, a very very good area. I fished in there yesterday. Obviously, I'm not going to mess with Bernie at all. But I did fish in that general area. The water was almost perfect where I was like liking the fish. But those fish are moving into spawn and. Uh, so Bernie can catch another big bag for sure, you know. But we're just gonna get down there. Hopefully nobody's in that little my little spot. How special is that to have a, a place where really no one's fishing? Hopefully Matt and then we'll catch a, a pretty good bag, and uh, we can all make the cut. Good day for the house on day one. We just got to continue it today. I know that sounds cliche, but this is the big O, and the biggest thing about the big O is the big bites are key. One to two big bites a day, and you've got a decent bag three to four big bites a day and you got a big bag. So um, the goal is to go out there and keep grinding and hopefully catch a six or seven pounder to go with them. And day two Okeechobee is the beginning of the year. We got a decent start yesterday. Need to continue that today. I mean, they really blasted them. And uh, you know, like I said earlier, practice was really tough. The weights look really good, but man, it's still tough fishing. So hopefully I can go out there and get a few good bites, put them in the boat, make that top 50 cut. That's my goal this week. Uh, if I can catch two or three of them, maybe I can move up and get some good points for the AOY and start the year off right, man. I appreciate it. We got till five o'clock today, which is a long day, which is good. You know, hopefully, if, if I had a, you know, obviously we'll have to make adjustments along the way. Always do. But I'm hoping we can catch what we need to catch in there, and then I'm going to get out and start expanding some stuff and checking some places that you know I think I can catch them in the next couple days if I need to, because you know I don't know if there's four days. How there. are you feeling this We'll know after today. If today goes off like crazy, then it's Swindle's talking about. You know, this, this could yeah, happen. Yeah, I've been down a little bit of yoga, but I tell you what, if I catch a rock, I did yesterday. It'll be a fun day. So.
We're coming into the zone right there. Plus, I want to get my position. I don't want to be throwing. I want to be. I want to be throwing this way. I can hold it in the strike zone longer. <laughs> I just had this sense. My little magnet. I probably caught him yesterday. <laughs> it's probably the ones that, one of the ones I threw back. I'm trying to see if I see hook marks in his mouth. Two pounder. bonus bite right here at the boat it just goes to show you how many of them are just swimming around in here dude kind of crazy that's the beauty of power poles honestly you know a lot of people say well I don't really need power poles well if you fish shallow water you should get them because so many bonus fish like today right now I'm sitting dead still I caught that fish and I caught this fish I hadn't touched my trolling motor and in this shallow water I would have had to spin a boat around, hold the boat into the wind, churn in the water, make a noise with the trolling motor, fish feel it, they, you know, you don't catch them. Like you literally caught that fish, caught that fish because of power pole. And that's all the time. So it's not something you use every day. So you live on a deep lake, say so you might, might not use it 365, but when you do need to use it, it pays for itself. That was a giant boil too. Yeah, we'll move back. <sighs> That's not what boiled. <laughs> That's not what boiled. Still a good chunk though. Two something. We're getting there boys. 100% the cut. More weight than I had a minute ago. There he is. A small one. I feel like there's a bigger one there. I know there was a. I know there was like a three or four pounder there yesterday. There he is. I don't know if he's big, big or not. helps. I knew there was another one in there. Yeah. Plus, we got a magnet again. That is five, right? That's five. Yeah. Well, I know that's 
10 pounds or so is what I have. But fishing in Florida, it's not about, I mean, yesterday was a special day. I caught a lot of nice fish, back-to-back -back type deals. Typically, it's a build-a-back deal. It's a, it's a 10 pounds, and you get to 11 pounds, and then, you know, I'm gonna catch a four or five pounder in a minute and bump up to 14, and then you fish, and you catch another couple twos, and then boom, you catch a seven. And, you know, that's typically how it works. Oh my God. Did you see that big old giant one? God darn it. cool that's not the one that's not the one dude that's just a little guy that's not the one that was just chasing there's a big giant one that one that boiled red alert oh my gosh major red alert Good one though. It's pretty good when you can call your shot, you know.
feel help, I think you will. catching fish right here. We got, we got Chloe. Chloe, you gotta hold the bag. Just like that. Come right in here. Let's get on that seat. Make sure they don't jump out. If they do, you dive on them and then just like pin them to the ground. Okay. Okay? Pin them to the ground. No, nah, there's no ones today, buddy. Let's bring out a two-time FLW Tour winner, a four-time Classic Qualifier from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Airy. At 16-12 yesterday. Five fish adds that here today. 12 pounds, four ounces, so a little tougher day today. 29 pounds even, is it gonna be enough to sneak in there? No, I don't every, I don't know. Every time I hear somebody weigh, it's 24, 23, 22, so looks like they actually caught them better, which with this group, it doesn't surprise me. Everybody, we're always at the house going, what's it gonna take to make the cut? And we'll say, well, add, two, add, add double the weight, minus two. You never minus the two with this group. It always doubles, and it actually might go up today. So, uh, and good news, there was no fights at the house last night. Good, good. I checked your Facebook story and stuff. Oh, I, was, I was feverishly checking, because I, I mean, I love it. I mean, you, these guys at times, man, have nothing on Desperate Housewives. Let me just tell you that much. Or the real Housewives or whatever it is. My yeah. wife watches it nonstop. It's ridiculous. You can follow along on all the shenanigans on Scott Martin's YouTube channel. We have a good time, uh, needless to say. But um, And there'll be some more pranks in store this year, too. So y'all look out for those. Looking forward to having you all season long. From Alabama, a former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Get loud for Scott Canterbury. 16 pounds, 12 ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. 17 pounds, 10 ounces. So a better day today. I'm with 34 pounds, 6 ounces. Scott Canterbury moves into 22nd place currently. So you're going to work tomorrow? Yeah, man, I'm excited. That's pretty awesome. The Lord blessed me so much today. I tell you. I think it was about two o'clock. I had two fish and I made about a 20 minute run, a 20 mile run and uh, at 240, I think I caught my third one. And it was a fight that big one, like a six pounder. I had like 20 minutes left to fish and I still had three and I ended up catching a four and a three and culling two 12 inches in the last 20 minutes. So, I mean, it was just, if I could get on it all day, it might turn into something really good. So maybe I found something, but I don't know. We're gonna go out tomorrow and fish hard as we can see if we can't catch a big bag. Good news is you're gonna get a shot at it. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Well, they jacked them up today. I tell you, that's impressive. Uh, the amount of big bags. You know, we've got about 11 or 12 pounds, not very good. But we're not out of this thing, believe it or not, because we find a little stretch. Some of these guys are finding. This is ridiculous. Listen to this weight, guys. This is today. Just today. 32, 15, 29, 22, 22, 25, 27, 24, 29, 23, 26, 24, 22, 23, 20, 21, 24, 21, 20. I mean, it's just, that's crazy town. So the lake is pushing out some biggins right now. So we're gonna have to figure out what to do tomorrow. We're gonna have to totally change it up. Probably stay from the north end tomorrow. Just fish all day. 
keep a flipping stick in my hand and make something happen. He's a generational angling icon, a seven-time FLW winner from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Merton. At 25 pounds, 11 ounces, just be five fish to add to that here today. 12 pounds, four ounces. And what a difference a day makes, but you know, you got another shot of tomorrow and uh, you can make a bunch of space up here tomorrow. I mean, that's a great thing about this lake. I mean, you've seen the bags it's putting out today. It's pretty impressive. You know, I went back down in my little area and I thought I could get two or three more big ones and it just didn't really happen. Caught a lot of males, but you know, when you're around males, it's like on Okeechobee, you're like, okay, I'm gonna get a big one here in a minute. Just never did happen, but it sure was a blessing to catch what I caught, make the cut in the very first term of the year, get a chance to go out in the mar and redeem myself. So I'm looking forward to it. We'll make it happen. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> Thank you. I want to say one thing real quick, if you don't mind. You know, <laughs> we're looking at these weights and the weights are so impressive. I tell you, 24 pound bags, 30 pound bags, all these great weights. But I'm just asking everybody here, we've got to all group up together and help save this lake. We gotta get some water out of this lake. We gotta get our clarity back. We gotta get our habitat back. We all love this lake. I love it tremendously. And uh, we've gotta get Governor DeSantis to step in and do some things. It needs some attention right now. Otherwise, we're gonna lose this beautiful resource that we've got here in our backyard. So join us at AFLOW, Anglers for Lake Okeechobee, and help us fix this lake and get her back. Great stuff. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. All right, 12, 12 pounds. It was a fun day. I mean, <laughs> at least I get to chalk it up as a top water day. I mean, call on my shots with that prop bait doesn't get any better than that. So here's the deal. Honestly, there's so many 20 something pound bags. That tells me another big wave pushed in. That also tells me that I'm just gonna go fish some new stuff tomorrow. And I know where they move in. I know what to do. And I'm gonna keep rolling around. I'm not gonna run far tomorrow. I'm gonna stay up here. I'm gonna plunk around, plunk around, and I, I have a funny feeling we're gonna find something big tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to getting out there. We're gonna probably close this video down, but not quite yet. We're gonna bring you back for another video uh, for tomorrow's. But when you get to find Canterbury, he had a great comeback. I'm at 18 pounds, so he's he's doing great. I think Matt was close to the cut. Hopefully he made it. And, uh, and that's that. So let's go eat some dinner, hang out with the fam. Well. We got ourselves in a pickle. I mean, how many 20 pound bags were there today? Like 20? Oh, God, a bunch of them. I mean, the lake went off today. It's been doing that all year, which is crazy. You know, what do I need to catch tomorrow? I mean, I, I have to go out and catch over 20. Well, well over 20. I probably need 20. I don't think they'll catch them quite as good tomorrow. I really don't, just because the wind's going to be completely opposite. It's going to be like a, a northeast wind, pretty stiff in the morning, and uh, temperature is going to be a little different. So I think, you know, obviously today was a nice warm south wind, but guys, we're going to figure it out, and we're going to take you along for the journey, and I want to thank you so much for uh, watching the video. Canterbury! Yeah. You did good, dude. Awesome comeback. Hey, man. Matt did not make the cut. He just came up just a tad bit short. Man, I'm, dang, I just hate it, dude. We almost had a house cut. Um, Canterbury made a good comeback, like I said. I've got to big, make a big comeback tomorrow. Catch over 20, make the top 10. We're going to bring you a new video starting tomorrow, guys. So thank you so much for watching our first video of the 2023 season here at Lake Okeechobee. Love you so much, guys. Good night. Boom!